Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in central Scotland. And today I'm come to do another quick and easy card, um, which should be card number 45. Can you believe it? Yay! So I'm going to use the Cottage Wreath Bundle. So I've got Cottage Wreath stamp set and it's called Country Wreath Dies that go with it. Um, I do believe Stampin' Up! are going to start and give us the same name for the dies and the stamps in future to give, help make it easier. So I've used the dies. I've used these two. I've used these four little sprigs which is really good because that's all the same leaf thing and there's four of that so you could cut out a whole bundle of them and this beautiful bow I've cut out so I've already done that and I'll show you what I've... I just want to put these away before I start losing them I am going to use the Merry Christmas sentiment from the stamp set and maybe stamp a couple of bits for the inside but most of it's die cutting and it's simple so I've got, I've, I've used three different paper packs. I've used a piece from Lights Aglow, this, the black with the stars on. I've used a little bit of the very vanilla um, glimmer paper and a bit of the gold glimmer paper. We'll put this back in the pack so we don't lose it. I have always put just all the scraps back in the same bag and then it's easy to find. And I have used a piece from Black and White Designs. So yeah, some things from the annual catalogue, some things from the mini catalogue. I'm just popping them out of the way. And I've got out these glossy dots. I think I used them in my last video, but that, which is why they're on my desk. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them. So this is a, bit, a very different colourway here. So I've got black and basic grey as the main colour way, but I've brought in gold and berry vanilla that are going to be the wreath and the sentiments going to be on here. So I'm going to do that first because I'm going to emboss it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So all this, all this um, things you're seeing me using are from the Stampin' Up! annual catalogue. And my online shop is for that is jazzledazzle.stampinup.net. So if you want to have a nosy and see what it's all about, that's where to look. So I'm using my um, embossing tool set. And I've got these brilliant tweezers, the tray, and the brush. So if you, and my emboss buddy. So I've put the stamp set away without getting the stamp out that I want to use. So I want to use the Merry Christmas one. It's just little. Just a wee little one and hopefully it'll work okay. So I am going to use my emboss buddy. quite busy at my desk today. I've already filmed card number 43 and I'm done quite a lot of admin work as well at my desk. had my cup and cards this morning so it's been a busy day. I'm getting hungry so once I've done this I'm going to go and get some dinner. Right, I'm going to heat emboss this with our black emboss powder. Now maybe do stamp this more than once. Maybe about there. In fact, I'm going to do it three times. Simply just, I'll use the best, you know, the best of three. Is that not a normal thing to do? So I'll pop that over my tray and then sprinkle. Pretty good. I 
maybe just a couple of wee bits here. Maybe didn't take my embossing buddy far enough along, but no, that's fine. Right, that's good. And we'll just pop the tray out of the way just now and I'll deal with that after. I film, put them to be washed. Um, because I've left a big tail here, I've got something to hold. I'm just going to get my heat tool and heat this up, so just bear with me. And that's the embossing done. I'll work out just exactly what I'm doing with that once so I've built my card. So, um, I got a basic grey ink out as well. I'll just do a little bit of a decoration on the inside. It's just a bit. I don't know, just a different colour way just to think about. I'm going to take out the wreath stamp here. Because I've not... Oh, I've got another box here. Things falling out underneath my desk here. Right, so just with the basic grey... Just a wee bit of patterning down the side of the card and dust, that's all. And maybe the envelope. give you the idea that the card is about wreaths. I'm just going to check this is filming okay because my battery was looking dodgy earlier on but I think it's all right. Okay so something completely completely different. So I've cut out with the gold glimmer the slight, slightly bigger size wreath and you can see pop out the shapes of the leaves and you can lift them slightly and then there's this one which I'm going to just pop on top not quite sure how well that and I've got these bits of leaves and the bow and very vanilla so it's kind of keeping it quite a tight colour scheme so what we'll do is we'll pop the inside layer in first oops Knocking everything flying on my desk. So, yeah, so that for, card 45. But you know what that means? That means when you're watching this, there are only 55 days left till Christmas. <laughs> That's why I've been doing all Christmas cards. Just now, just well, it's getting my stock of Christmas cards up, isn't it? Whoops. That's the inside, and then I just want this. So on that one side it's black and white, and the other side it's black and grey. It sort of makes you think of wallpaper, especially the black, black and grey one. So 
it's maybe somebody with a very stylish house. And we'll stick this first one down with a few bits of glue. Oh, and that maybe. So you can lift these bits up, but I don't want them too high just now because I want to try and pop this on. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the back of here. This is pretty paper with some gold embossing on it too, so it's the lights are glow one. It's just quite pretty. I've not put a lot of glue on that, but enough. But we just have to give it a wee bit, a bit of extra time to get hold. So I'm thinking, where is my pokey tool? Yeah. To get it to bite, the glue to bite. And just need to be a bit patient. Oops, that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> My fingers are stuck to it. That's it, it's biting now. Just hold it. Is that it? Maybe not. Because the glimmer paper's not porous, the glue doesn't dry quite as quickly. There's now though. Okay, so. I definitely want this beautiful bow on there and I will use a dimensional for that for two. Let's use the little ones. Whoops, the back's off the dimensionals. Whoops, please share out this video with anyone that you think might be interested in crafty videos. I am trying desperately to get to my 2000 subscribers on YouTube and before Christmas. Don't know if I'm going to achieve that or not, but I'll try. Right, and then I've got these four little bits of leaves and then some embellishments. But I want to cut out my, which is the better. I would say this one's the better one. I think I want to just cut it just... I might separate the words, I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to trim it closer. I actually think I'll just make it, I make it go across here. I'm going to make me banner ends here. Although I need to straighten that up a wee bit. No, I don't. Just do the banner end. So just cut it up a wee bit. And then cut from the corner to the middle. And then just cut up a little bit in the middle. I'm 
just going to pop that across there again with a dimensional or two did I actually put them no I didn't put them away I thought that would be a bit unusual for me to put them away back off if it'll come off there we go i think that's why you always use the bigger ones because i find the backs come off them quicker <laughs> right so let's put our merry christmas across there i don't know if i'm am i having these or yeah well you know, we just make it up as we go along. Where's the glue? I'm thinking maybe a glue dot would probably work better. But with having... I uh, thought it might stick better because we've got the lights of glow paper there. Because it's paper. Yeah, it's gripping better there. Just a tiny amount. I think this is quite a non-traditional wreath. I don't know whether. I'm just amusing myself here or not. Then I'm going to put a real pop of colour here. Now I don't know whether I'm going to go for purple or pink or yellow. I'm going to leave it at that and there you have my unconventional coloured wreath I'm just going to turn this over so that you can see the card and the envelope there we go so as I say, something re whoops, a bit glue. I'll use that my glue rubber, I'll take that off afterwards. But I need to wait till it well, it's picking up now. There we go, that's better. Okay, so thank you very much for coming on. This was card number 45. I yeah, I wasn't sure, but I think I like it. It's just something completely different. But you can, you know, use it as inspiration and come up with your own colour combinations. But I do like the dark colours with a wee bit of a pop. So, yeah, I originally thought I was going to use pink or purple, but then, do you know what? The yellow's just as pretty. So, thank you very, very much. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh dear, won't stop.